guys, so a, di a little different scenery today, <laughs> but welcome to my channel. Today's video is something that I've actually been wanting to do for a while, and it's something that has helped me in my journey. I want to talk about healthy eating. It's really hard for me to bring it back down to a beginner level because when I'm talking about it and everything, I forget that, you know, I was a beginner once before and you know, I hear this person talking about macros and, and all these, you know, different things and I'm like, I don't know what the hell that lady is talking about and since I don't know what she's talking about or what that means, I'm just really not going to have an interest. So I'm going to try to talk in terms of beginner because I understand that most people don't really know, you know, in depth of, you know, how most advanced fitness healthy people um, go about their diet. So for right now, I want to talk about if you're starting your journey, if you've you know already started your journey or you ain't or you're not having very much success and you know you're saying I'm, I'm eating healthy I'm just not losing weight I don't understand what I'm doing well the first question is what are you doing for your nutrition what are you eating when are you eating how many times are you eating a day um, those questions are very important and I've talked to many people that give me this response I'm eating healthy. I'm eating fruit. I'm eating yogurt. Uh, you know, I'm eating the healthy um, biscuits or not biscuits, but uh, just just the healthy food that you can buy in the grocery stores. Anyone that can make um, a food can put anything on their box. They can lie to you. And another thing is to keep in mind that. I love yogurt. Yogurt, fruit, and the protein uh, granola is my favorite late night snack. However, beginners, you need to keep in mind, just because yogurt's healthy, fruit's healthy, and the uh, granola is healthy, doesn't mean you can have a ginormous bowl of it. You still, as a beginner, this is where a lot of people fell in the diet. I've learned over this, uh, let's see, it's now like a year and three or four months. You know, I didn't know this. I didn't understand. I didn't even think about it uh, when I first started. So now that I know that that's a key in success, I want to share it with you. So yes, progurt, progurt. Yes, yogurt, fruit, and granola is healthy, but you have to eat it mindfully. Just because it's healthy doesn't mean you can have a lot of it. Um, and that's why a lot of people, you know, won't, won't see success on their journey um, because, you know, they're saying they're eating healthy. Uh, they don't understand why they're not losing weight. And, uh, and I don't mean that, I mean like a true beginner, like not counting calories, not, not doing anything, just focusing on eating the right foods when you're hungry and if you really are counting your calories and you have a good understanding of how to count calories and you're still not having success then you need to again go back and see what you're eating when you're eating and how much you're eating because you might be having something so so little in the morning and gradually you know your meals get bigger throughout the day or maybe you ate breakfast and you didn't have time for lunch so you've seen that you had like thousand calories left for dinner or at dinner time so you eat a thousand calorie meal that's not how to go about dieting but see this is the importance of what you eat when you eat and how many times you eat because our body works well when it's fed throughout the day consistently. Just like myself, I usually have four to five meals throughout the day. Um, usually three of those are three big main meals, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just simple dieting, uh, if you're not counting your calories, you still need to you know, focus on you know, getting in a meal for breakfast, 
try to snack on something between breakfast and then lunch have your lunch then most people get hungry between lunch and dinner <laughs> so have a snack then or you know it just depends I really like to um, eat like every three hours uh, I don't stress about you know oh it's been three hours I gotta eat I'm not gonna live like that this is why my journey has been um, so successful is because how I've went about it is I didn't stress when I cheated when I first started this journey okay I tried not to cheat a lot but when I did I did not feel guilty I at first I had a hard time not feeling guilty but you know I wanted to make this a lifestyle I didn't want to make it a 30-day plan I didn't want to make it just to get a summer body I wanted this to be a lifestyle so I knew that I had to f like mold habits into something that I could do for the rest of my life so if I cut out pizza if I cut out dessert I'm not gonna want to cut out all those things for the rest of my life so that's why I went about this diet like that now I know I'm getting off a little bit of on the topic I mean I'm just sharing you information of how my journey has been successful because I didn't focus on eating healthy 100% I couldn't I'm a person that likes sweets <laughs> So, uh, it just wasn't going to work for me. That's why I had failed so many times in the past. Back to making sure that you are eating throughout the day. Most people are not hungry uh, when they first wake up. I'm really not sometimes either. But after learning how important breakfast is to our body, I make it a priority. Sometimes my breakfast isn't very uh, big. Sometimes it's not very much at all. So I'm not gonna go fully in detail why breakfast is healthy because I could just go on and on. Breakfast is very important no matter if it is a shake, it's some kind of um, breakfast uh, bar, uh, just something little if you're not hungry, still eat breakfast. Now back to the snacks in between, uh, you know, like your big meals, uh, breakfast and lunch and lunch and dinner. Um, you know, if you are working and you don't have time to get up and go get a shake, I understand that. And most of us get lunch. So lunch, I mean, it's, for most people, lunch is leave your office, get in your vehicle, go to McDonald's on the road or Wendy's or Arby's uh, get your food eat it in your vehicle and go back to work if you are really serious about weight loss then that's a huge no-no this is where meal prepping comes in uh, because no one has time on their lunch break to go home and grill them a chicken breast and fix rice and everything like that uh, so this is where meal prepping comes in you know meal prepping there get on Pinterest and find you these really good meal prepping um, dishes that you can make it doesn't always have to be chicken rice and vegetables healthy goes like beyond that okay it just depends on um, you know what kind of food you like and another thing with meal prepping is you can usually uh, choose how much um, you make for how many meals you make uh, because you don't want to make the same thing all the time you'll get burnt out on it and then when you get burnt out on it then you're gonna quit your diet and give up and you'll fail I've done that many times too definitely meal prep if you you know you only have a 30 minute lunch break you can take it most of your jobs or, or wherever you're at for lunch has a free refrigerator so you know you meal prep you put it in containers you get that container whatever you want for the lunch that day and you take it to work put it in the refrigerator lunchtime comes put it in the microwave and you're good to go dinner times usually um, a lot harder for people it was for me in the beginning because 
if you're the only one in your house on a health kick, no one else wants to eat what you're eating because it's what they call boring and bland. Um, and a lot of people don't want to make something for their self and then something else for the rest of their family. Uh, for one, that's a lot of food and that takes a long time to make two different meals. So what I at first focused on was choosing healthier, not the healthiest, but healthier meals that I knew Copeland would eat and I also cut back on my proportion. Um, if I did choose something, um, let's see, uh, like chicken fried steak with mashed potatoes and gravy, if I did cook something like that, uh, for one that's, that's a comfort meal, that's a good comfort meal, but uh, I would just watch my proportion. The main thing you need to remember is to watch your portions and just because of a type of food is healthy doesn't mean you can have the whole container because that kind of defeats the purpose if you are a, a true like beginner watch your proportions and try to eat uh, at least four meals a day uh, but shoot for five. Go and, and if you get to five and you're still hungry, go for six. Don't eat all your food at dinner time because you didn't have breakfast and you ate lunch. So you're like, well, I didn't have breakfast, so I didn't have food in my body so I can eat a lot more for dinner. That's not how our body works. If you have any questions about anything I talked about um, or want me to elaborate on more or you didn't quite understand it um, because I do know sometimes I'm not the best um, explainer and I don't explain it in ways that uh, other people can <laughs> understand it uh, or if I confused you or anything like that don't hesitate to reach out to me like I'll answer any questions or if you need help um, you know I'm here to help I I don't I don't care I I'm here to help people I want people to have success like I did either put them down below in the comments or shoot me an email which will be below as well also um, if you do follow me on my social medias you're allowed to contact me through there so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will catch you guys in the next video